The President's executive order announced today gives us a new and powerful tool to enforce the UN arms embargo and hold those who seek to evade UN sanctions accountable. Today I will take the first action under this new executive order by sanctioning the Iranian Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics and Iran's Defense Industries Organization and its director. We're also sanctioning the previous president of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro. For nearly two years, corrupt officials in Tehran have worked with the illegitimate regime in Venezuela to flout the UN arms embargo. Our actions today are a warning that should be heard worldwide. No matter who you are, if you violate the UN arms embargo on Iran, you risk sanctions. Today, U.S. Department of Commerce is adding five Iranian scientists to the entity list for enabling or assisting Iran's nuclear development program. The individuals added to the list are Ahmed Nozad Golik, Benam Puramani D, Humaid Supadri, Moji Dhuva Furadi Gonsa, Siad Juvad Ahmadi, Por Ahmadi Furbadad and Gonju are associated with the RAND's JHL laboratory. Signed just moments ago uh, in the Oval Office an executive order this morning, uh, which will result in severe economic sanctions for those nations, corporations, and individuals who contribute to the supply, the sale, or the transfer of conventional arms to the Islamic Republic of Iran. President Trump's order will prevent the export of conventional uh, arms to rogue regimes by Iran. The order will also ban the export of weapons by arms producing nations to Iran, where Iran would in turn provide them to terrorists and to rogue regimes. The, the sanctions that the United States has been imposing on Iran, it's not, nothing new. Uh, uh, Secretary Pompeo, I think as we speak, uh, is trying to gain some attention by having a press conference, uh, it seems, uh, at this very moment, announcing new sanctions. And I, I, I don't think that's anything new, and I don't think uh, it will have any more significant impact uh, on, uh, on Iran. The United States has exerted all the pressure it could on Iran. Uh, it has, uh, it had hoped that these sanctions will bring our population to their knees. It didn't. Uh, that's why uh, they withdrew from JCPOA. That's why they started maximum pressure. That's why they took a resolution to the Security Council. That's why after they failed, they started the so-called process of snapback, and I have to say that the word snapback doesn't appear uh, in either JCPOA or Security Council Resolution 2231, um, and, and they failed. Because the deal was signed five years ago. Some of this, the provisions start to get sunset uh, you know, pretty soon. So you are saying you are open to renegotiating uh, absolutely uh, not absolutely uh, not the us uh, uh, abides by the jcpo oh, absolutely no. not absolutely not because those were parts of the part of the deal the united states accepted those we spent more time negotiating those limitations than anything else those were parts of the deal 